Welcome to the Money Tips No One Told You podcast. I'm Heather with First Pioneers Federal Credit Union, and I'll be your host. At First Pioneers, we're dedicated to caring for our members' financial needs with heart, and that means providing more than just financial services. It's about empowering you to take control of your financial destiny through knowledge and understanding. This podcast is all about guiding our listeners toward a brighter financial future. So get ready to embark on a journey towards financial well-being. Because at First Pioneers, we believe that when our members are financially successful, we all succeed. Stay tuned for a wealth of knowledge and inspiration. Okay, you guys, I have to admit something. When I started thinking about this podcast and, you know, kind of getting it ready, my first thought was, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's summer already. (laughs) And it's not summer already. At the time this is airing, it's mid-July. That's in summer. That's halfway through summer. Well, I guess really maybe getting to the end of summer. I mean, I know for those of us in Louisiana, especially South Louisiana, if you're going by temperature, summer's going to last a little while longer. But summer ending tends to signify what? Yeah, back to school, you guys, mid-July, back to school's right around the corner. I know here our kids will start back, I think it's around August 10th, um, maybe even before that. So we're looking at maybe a month before the kids are back in school. Seriously, this year has flown by. I don't know how we got here this fast. I don't know how anybody else feels, but to me, I can't believe we're already here. But I digress. Let me get into why we're really here. And that's our back to school shopping. Because, I mean, I think we all know things are just crazy expensive these days. So back to school shopping can be a bit of a challenge for a lot of us. So today we wanted to share 10 tips for saving money and getting prepared to do your shopping. That's whether you're a parent, a student, or even a teacher. Hopefully these tips will help you keep your budget in check while ensuring that you have everything you need 